Alrighty, so we have a speculation video off of what I saw at the park yesterday. So this is super exciting. So yesterday I saw um, a, a group of people, higher ups, with um, a security guard and they were walking, talking about a few things um, in the action theater area, coming down towards Medfair, looking at some Canadian theming. And the person that I saw them with happened to be someone from Falcon's Creative Studio. Um, now this is just speculation and rumors. I cannot guarantee this is 100% as usual with my speculation videos. Um, but I'm pretty sure this person was definitely from Falcons Creative Studio, which is responsible for some amazing attractions. And uh, we would be extremely lucky to get something from this um, organization. So I'm going to go over my thoughts and opinions on this. Um, and I definitely want you guys to comment down below what you think. Um, and uh, definitely comment down below which of the three attractions we're going to discuss could be likely for Canada's Wonderland and what storyline they would pick to go along with this. Um, I definitely personally feel um, the suspended model with Canadiana theming would be perfect for the park, but I'm still going to go over everything. So um, again, super exciting. The park is aggressively going after the Canadian market, um, but we also do know the park has a great relationship with EA Games as they sponsor the Fastlane and Fastlane Plus at the park. Um, so it would be interesting to discuss what you guys think of um, which of the EA Games platforms or games would be perfect for Wonderland. Um, definitely want to hear that. And uh, yeah, so let's let's hop right into this. So uh, there are three models. They have the Hybrid Dome, the Suspended Theater, and the 4D um, Trackless Dark Ride that I could really see fitting at Wonderland in this property. The Trackless 4D model would require much more work to the Action Theater alone. So I, I, I have ruled that out a bit. I don't see that being fully likely for the park, especially since we already have a 4D kind of track ride at the park. So I went with the two. So we have the Hybrid Dome Theater and you have your pre story and then it goes into its story line. Now this would be great for the park on a family standpoint. Um, both are family rides, but this is even more, um, this would be a better choice for the family as a whole. So we know that, you know, Canada's One has a lot of, uh, a large uh, family um, kind of draw and there's a lot of younger kids that go to Canada's Wonderland and this would be perfect, very unique great fits in both sides of the theater so the capacity would be amazing for the park and they're not that expensive and maintenance looks like it would be very easy on the ride as well so um again you could i don't know what kind of storyline that would go with this whereas the next one very easy to pick um you have your 4d sfx motion seats you could go with or just your basic model seats as well so i mean very easy for the park to on a cost standpoint now the suspended theater I think would be perfect. Soarin' Over Canada has it written all over it. And uh, I feel like this is the direction the park would wanna go down. Very unique. I know there's one in Niagara Falls, but Canada's Wonderland would um, definitely have the better version. Um, and uh, it, the storyline alone just screams, build me at Wonderland. <laughs> uh, definitely comment down below if you agree, but I think this is like the, gr the best choice for Wonderland to uh, move forward with. And I feel like Soarin' Over Canada would be very popular. Now, I'm not talking the same storyline we saw in Action Theater last season. I'm talking about a really great storyline added in, flying over Canada, seeing all the different areas, add in, you know, some action in there as well. Doesn't have to just be some uh, lazy ride. But yeah, I think this is perfect. Um, so definitely comment down below which of the three models you would like to see at Wonderland in the Action Theater. What storyline, whether it be Canadiana or EA Games, um, and uh, if you agree or disagree with me, do you think this is coming in the next three years to Canada's Wonderland? Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below. Love responding to your speculation and discussions. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Head on over if you're a Canada's Wonderland fan to our Patreon for exclusive content on construction. Anyways, thanks as always guys for watching. Have a great one. Bye.